Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in for this weekend message with me. This is for September 9th and September 10th, Saturday and Sunday, um, 2023. I am pre-recording on September 8th, 2023. Um, for those who are new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. I am a psychic medium, um, and what that just means... Me being a psychic and a medium is two separate things, but I'm both, okay? I'm a psychic, whereas I'm able to see, hear, feel, I can pick up on name, places, um, details of your situation or um, dates, whatever spirit want to provide. Um, I'm also able to pick up on missing, missing person, missing people. I'm able to see a lot Uh Ooh, it's a lot. Um, medium, I am able to connect with uh, spirit with your deceased loved ones. So, if you're if you're wanting to speak to um, a deceased family member or a friend or a lover, I'm able to connect with them. If they want to come through to connect, they'll let you know. Okay, and with that, they would tell you what you know of them. So you would know I'm connected to them by the information that they provide, okay? So, yeah, and you can look into reviews uh, that I have. You can look into past live videos. Um, I've been out to the world publicly um, for, what, four or five years now. Um, but this is a life gift. This has, I was born with this. So, for those who do not know, okay? Um, and... Yeah, so let's get into this message. Now, in personal readings, I do not use any cards or any tools for that reason because I am a psychic medium. So I do not use any cards whatsoever or tools because um, spirit don't want me to. But as far as giving you readings, a general reading and YouTube, that's just what I'm going to do. Um, as far as using the cards, I will do that. Um, so I'm going to give a weekend message. Um, and if you want to tune in for Q&As, you guys, if you want to see more of me or get more messages due to your, uh, weeklies, um, um, due to dailies, um, or even private Q&As, you definitely want to email me so I could give you the changes, the updates, and all the nice things, good things that I have going on. Um, if you want to be a part of that, like I said, email me, um, at my Gmail, um, I will still post here, post videos here, so you can always definitely still subscribe here. Um, but if you want more of me, um, definitely email me so you can be a part of that, okay? And uh, whether you're wanting to be a member or if you just want to follow me in other places, you could definitely do that, okay? All right, you guys, let's get into this message. Whew. And also, don't pay so much attention. I don't know if I said this. Did I say this? Don't pay so much attention on your sun sign, okay? Yes, look for a message in your sun sign, but majority of the time, you may find a message in your other signs, okay? So sometimes if you just listen to all the all the zodiac signs without paying attention to the zodiac, you would end up picking up on one of the messages like, wait, that sounds like me. And then you find out what the zodiac sign I'm on, you realize that's not even my sun sign or my moon sign. What placement is this? Because that's my message. Yeah. Okay, so always know that. I want you to understand that. Please don't pay so much attention to, oh, I'm a such and such. Oh, I'm that ain't me because I'm, I'm a such and such. No, that has nothing to do with it, okay? All right, let's get into this message. I'm sorry, it's been a minute, so I'm, you know, giving you a long spiel. But the, for those who are... uh returners you can always fast forward it <laughs> all right let's get into this message for aries we're gonna go down each zodiac sign aries daily spirit i mean not daily uh weekend message <laughs> so used to doing dailies weekend message please show us a weekend message for september um 9th and september 10th aries 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 spirit Aries weekend message. Mm. 
Ooh, I seen that too. All right, Aries. It looked like well, you got a snake in a bunch. All right. Someone is not being authentic to you. They're not being um true to you unless this is you. Okay. This could be like say if this is like your boss, it's like they're being they're making they put in making you work harder than what you have to do. Or you're doing this person work. Yeah, someone is being two faced here. We have the yeah, the mask. Someone is not trustworthy here. Um yeah, it's like you you're given a decision here, and this decision is your intuition already guided you here. Your intuition already said what you need to do, how you need to move about this situation or with this person. All right, now if you're going against this, this is your problem. Okay, this is going to cause more problems because it's going to be like, I knew I shouldn't have trust them. I knew I shouldn't have did this. Or I know, yeah, because they're showing you who this person is. Okay. Um, someone, this could be someone you work with or you do business with or some type of exchange, okay? This is something going on with that, okay? This is someone who's going to make you, make your blood boil because of the, the fraudulent activity that they're doing. Something they're doing in secret, but you already picked up on their, their ways, you see? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so your choice is given to you, but you have, it's like, okay, what you going to choose, left or right? What are you going to choose? When are you going to make this choice? A choice needs to be made, I feel like, now. Yeah, mm-hmm. Like, what you going to do with this situation? Who? What you going to do with this person? You going to continue to let them be fraudulent? Or you going to continue doing business with them and you know you can't trust them? How are you going to do business with them if you can't trust them? All right, someone's birthday could be on the 7th, the 28th, the uh, 4th, the 22nd. Someone could be age 41, age 40, age 22 or 32 or 28. Um, the numbers 10, 1 could be significant. July could be significant for someone. But yeah, this is just, yeah, someone is really, really a snake and they're trying to take you out. It looked like someone is trying to take you out and trying to see. So if they're trying to say, for instance, this is business wise, this person, whoever this business partner is, it's like they're trying to get you to do something wrong or 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 they're um, someone could be like if someone is above you, they're making you work harder than what you should and they're giving you less pay. Um, or not the, if it's not less pay, it's like the pay that you're receiving is not really the right amount. You deserve more. Something like that is going on. It's fishy and you are aware of this though. This is not, so if this, this is your message, you know exactly like, mm-hmm, I know who she's talking about. Yeah, because it's here. I mean, it's showing me. Like, you, you are in tune. You got, you, you have, int your intuition is high right now and it's letting you know. So as long as you are protecting yourself against this individual or these people due to you whoever this is that you're working with, also don't don't have don't half step it, they're saying. Thank you. So that whatever you're doing, don't half step it. So if you're trying to cut corners, go around it, they're saying no, do it thoroughly because something could come back to bite you. Okay. Dang, Aries, I was on you for a minute. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. All right, Taurus, weekend message spirit. Please show us a message for Taurus. Taurus for the weekend of September 9th and September 10th. Taurus, spirit, please show us. Taurus, and what else? All right, Taurus. So in divine timing, if someone is wanting this home, wanting this house, you have this idea image in your mind. They're saying, not now, but you will get it. So it looked like it's some things that you have to do, a choice that you have to make in order to, yeah, this compass is guiding you to this home, but it's like, you got to, are you indecisive right now, Taurus? You got to make up your mind with something. Like, because whatever this is that you have to make up your mind is pertaining to a move or pertaining to this house that, that why did I say it like house <laughs> pertaining to this house that you're desiring, that you're wanting. 
um, this location. Okay, they're wanting you to make up your mind, make a choice, make up your mind. Maybe you receive some type of message and you're kind of like indecisive about this. Like, hmm, which way should I, should I, look, you're blocking yourself, okay? But the good thing is you're coming from the dark, you're stepping into the light, okay? So you could have been in a hard situation, maybe pertaining to a move or pertaining to wherever you are in life right now. Your The compass is, is guiding you elsewhere and is guiding you out of the dark into the light. Look at that. You're coming from here and going into the light. Wait, the camera. Okay, you're, going, you're coming from here and going into the light. So, it looks like you, you just need to make up your mind. It's like a decision that you need to make. Like, should I choose this or that? Should I, should I go on this date or that date? Like, I don't know. Just make up your mind. That's what they're saying. Like, just make up your mind. It's not a right or wrong choice. It's just that you need to get going with this choice. Stop dwelling on it. Stop constantly thinking about it. Just choose. That's it. Um, your numbers, uh, 22, 42, 4, 6, 17. Someone could be age 38. Someone could be age 42 or age 22. Um, someone's birthday could be on the 6th or the 17th or any of these numbers or the 4th. Someone could be age 39. It's like, you just need to make up your choice. That's make up your mind. <laughs> make up your choice. Make a choice. Um, someone name can start with a K or a Q. All right, moving on. To Gemini Spirit, please show us. Okay, Gemini, just like that. Gemini, show us a weekend message for Gemini Spirit. Gemini, and of course, I'm reading for the weekend, but y'all, these messages can go weeks out, you know. Spirit is, and it's different for everyone's. Like, someone message may be today, someone message may be next week. Someone message may have happened a week ago, two weeks or months ago. Okay, you get my drift. You get it. All right, Gemini. It looked like uh -huh. a four-page letter. I'm hearing that, and I ain't closing with the kiss. And when I write him, he better get it on time. Like someone is like, <laughs> all right, Gemini. So you want or you're okay. Someone, whoever this is, they're loyal. This is someone you you find loyal or someone that you want. Uh, this is a friendship or a lover. I'm getting lover because that four-page letter, whoever this is that you want to meet up with, this person may be at a distance from you. Hmm. You may have to travel to this person or you want to travel with this person. But um, flowers could be significant. The number 18 could be significant. The number nine could be significant. Someone could be age 27 or 27 could be significant. Um, someone's birthday could be in October or July or September. Or these dates, September 18th could be significant or September 27th could be significant. So maybe pertaining to this letter. It don't necessarily have to be a written letter. This could be like um, a text message, a, a call. It could be maybe a DM, an inbox. Have a, it's a message, okay? But someone will be messaging you about coming towards you. Or this is you messaging someone about coming towards them, okay? This could be coming up. Not necessarily this weekend. All right. All right, let's move on to Cancer. Cancer weekend special. <laughs> special? Cancer weekend message. All right, weekend special. Show us a message for Cancer for September 9th and September 10th, Spirit. What is it? Okay. And what else for Cancer? Cancer. Whoa. Oh. Mm-hmm. Nope. Ow. Someone knows somebody is fraudulent and false. False and fraudulent wants to come out. All right, so this could be someone who is, I don't know, you could be someone you're involved with. Or this is what Spirit trying to tell you, okay? This could be a mother. Someone could be finding out their mother. Is, yeah, this could be a yeah, mother. 
Yeah, someone is trying to block you. Someone is hiding in their face, okay? Someone is not um showing who they this is someone you're involved with, okay? A feminine energy. I don't know. Someone is trying to cause blockages to you or you're trying to do this towards someone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like someone don't want you, someone don't want someone to have another lover, don't want someone to move on. So it's like, if this is not pertaining to like a lover, this could be your own relative that's trying to stop you, block you from having some, maybe cancer, why, why? Um, someone's birthday could be in July. Well, yeah, that's Cancer or Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo. We do have July 25th. That's Leo energy. Someone could be age 40 or 25. Seven definitely could be significant. 77. Someone could be born in 77. Someone named start with an A or a Q. Someone's birthday is in October or number 10 or 1 could be significant for someone. 15 or 6 could be significant for someone as well. Show us more on this snake. For Cancer. Five of Cups. Someone is sad and regretting the fact that they were a snake towards you or you're regretting being a snake towards someone. Take it how they resonate. It could be a Leo. Yeah, some, someone gained some clarity about what someone was doing the whole darn time. Mm-hmm, Cancer. Mm-hmm. All right, that light have been shed. That light have been shown and exposed on this group of people that was coming against someone. Mm. Well then. So it just looked like the devil is coming to collect. So whoever this is that wronged someone, the devil is coming to collect. Coming to collect. So whoever wronged you or whoever wronged this feminine energy is coming to connect. Connect. Ooh, the devil is coming to connect with someone. Mm. Well then, that's a gauntlet. Hold on. <laughs> Woo! Well, well, well. Cancer, whoever wronged you. Oh well. Oh well. Oh whoever cancer you wrong. Show us a message for Leo. 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 Weekend message spirit. Please show us a message for Leo. 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 Dang, Leo. Are you dealing with a cancer? Because you came out in Cancer Rita and then this was their first card. So what is this ring about? Hopefully yours have a better twist to it. Show us more for Leo with this ring. Show us more for Leo. And what else? For Leo. Leo. Right. You gotta watch who you who your friends are, Leo. Who you dealing with? Cause they don't seem like good friends. Um. Yeah, I'm getting like they smile in your face all the time. I wanna take your place. Mm -mm -mm. Backstabbers. All right, you got some backstabbers? All right. This could be someone that you thought was loyal, ride or die for you, but they're not. Or this is how someone is feeling about you. This could be a lover, someone that you're supposed to have been locked with, locked in with, but you realize, like, nah, uh-uh, I got to end this. Someone have gained some type of success here. Huh. Or they're saying after this ending, like someone, I'm getting like a relationship gone wrong. And the person, after the ending, after you ended with this person, you just blow up or things just become more successful. That's how you know you're dealing with a karmic, okay? <laughs> like, oh, that's my person. We're supposed to be together forever. Uh, no, and then you find out after that you are blossoming a lot more after cutting someone off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was a karmic. With a karmic, you could be dealing with um, could be a Scorpio, or a Scorpio could be involved here. It could be um, a, another Leo. Um, mm -mm, take it however it resonates. But someone's uh, birthday could be on the twenty fifth or the eighth, 
or the 31st or 13th. Um, someone could be age 38, age 42, age 25, age 31. Um, someone's birthday is definitely in August. Okay, I'm speaking to maybe your birthday, the actual date came through. But yeah, it looked like someone was placing your path to pretty much slow you down, stop you. So if you haven't um, completed this ending with them yet, that's why the success not blooming yet. But it looked like after you end something, that's when the sun come through. Boom. You got to end it. So this could be also like a friendship. Um, maybe a friendship. You have to cut that friend off. They, mm -mm. they done did dirty to you one time. They'll do it again and again. Trust me. They will. Mm -hmm. They will. All right, moving on to Virgo, 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 Virgo. We get a message for Virgo spirit. Please show us a message for Virgo. Whoa. Virgo, are you all over the place or something? Mentally, like thinking about this and that and hey, what? Show us more on Virgo. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like you're thinking about, okay, ooh, okay. You're thinking about a lover, you're thinking about a home, you're thinking about you as a mother or a father. You could be thinking about, okay, what is, you got a lot, oh, you could be falling in love too. Thinking about this home, thinking about marriage, thinking about settling down, like, yeah, ooh, Virgo, it looked like you're coming out of this blockage. Maybe you were blocked or you felt like things was moving slowly or you couldn't make up your mind, couldn't make a decision. You still kind of in the indecisive energy though. So for a lot of you, you still haven't made up your mind with something. And this something is a big something, like a move or a change in job, some type of change in your path here. Um, this could be a change in lover, okay? But someone also needs to be mindful of their spending habits. It looks like someone's wages will be cut. Um, and it looked like because someone needs to learn how to work with others. Oh, so that could be like a learning, a lesson for you. Um, maybe you have a hard time with work, working with others or, or maybe that could have been your lesson recently or something, but that is something that's showing up for you. Um, and this could be working with others as far as a job. Okay. But this could be working with others as far as family members or friends or whatever, like, you know, be, considerate of what the other person is sharing or whatever or you know vice versa they it gotta be it gotta be a team effort okay because it's like one man bigger than the other type energy and it's not in spirit trying to get someone to understand it's not that way okay maybe this is pertaining to your partnership one you know you the man of the household want to be the man of the household and the woman want to be the man of the household too <laughs> like like i know i understand like the independence energy but you don't let that bump heads or whatever so that could be the issue um there could be some uh, issue due to a change a change in move this that's what i'm saying like a change in homes or something like that Someone could be indecisive, like, do I really want to stay here forever or do I want to move to another state? Ha! Huh. Or do I want to stay in this in this city forever or do I want to move to a different city? Do I want to do I want to sign this contract to own this home or do I just want to rent until I figure things out? Like that could be the issue. I mean, it's not so much of an issue; it's just a decision that you're juggling back and forth in your mind but something is going to it's like a message that's coming in to you that's going to give you the clear or make you realize okay i know what to do <laughs> okay could be this message all right moving on to libra libra weekend what the heck is up with special all right that came up in cancer only cancer and yours libra so maybe you're dealing with <laughs> the weekend special what the heck all right show us a message for libra for september 9th and september 10th libra september 9th and september 10th please show us a message for libra libra 
Libra energy spirit, please show us a message for Libra. And what else? And one more. Libra. It's like once one door closes, another opens, and then it get blocked again. Like, I'm getting an on and off situation with you, Libra. Like, whoo, I'm free, I'm good, I feel refreshed. And then you start your day, everything go well, and then boom, the next day you wake up, it's a blockage. Like, you can't move forward with something that was just moving so smoothly. Huh. It's like someone is trying to block you from what's destined for you. Like, who does that? Haters? <laughs> Because what the heck? It could be a mother, okay? Dang, why mother? I hope this isn't your mother trying to block you, okay? Don't be surprised, but for some, it could be maybe a baby mother. Maybe it's a, a baby mother that's trying to block you or whatever. Yeah. Something going on, right? Right? I'm also hearing distance and time. <laughs> so someone, maybe you're distant from your lover, okay? And it's like maybe things are going smoothly with y'all, but then they got to go out of town. Maybe they work, you know, travel for work, and they have to, oh, I'm going to see you for a week or whatever. Okay, so that could be the issue right now. It's like someone is, is lonely or waiting for their person to arrive or come back home. Um, there's a mountain here. Yeah, someone could be traveling by the mountains, near the mountains, or have to go past the mountains, something like that. Um, it do look like it's a blockage here between you and someone. So, you and a lover is not together right now. So, maybe this, like I said, this could be like, you know, you work, you have to travel for work, and you, you know, you're not coming home to your, to your significant other until whatever, you know, whatever. But then for some of you, this could be a distance because you and this person haven't came together because it's a blockage in between what's destined to be, okay? Um... Yeah, it does look like you're gonna come back together, Someone could be hiding their feelings or not expressing everything. It's like someone is covering something up. So whether you or this person, maybe someone is not expressing how they truly feel or what's really going on. It's like, I'm going to hold this in my little black book. <laughs> For my older crowd, you understand what I mean with that little black book. or Now, but some of you... Hmm. Yeah, it just seems like you're waiting on someone to arrive or someone is waiting for you to arrive, but it's a block right now. So that block could be, it's not time yet. The time haven't came yet for this arrival, okay? Take it as is, okay? The numbers I have for you is 24, 4, 21, 38, 16. The number 6, the number 8, 29 could be significant. 11, 6. 11, 11, 11. Some of you could have been seeing 11, 11. 7, 3 could be significant for someone. Someone's name could start with an A, a K, a J, first, middle, last, or a nickname. Or those letters could resonate for you in other ways. Okay. All right. Moving on to Scorpio. Weekend message spirit. Please show us a message for Scorpio. Scorpio. For uh, September 9th and September 10th, Scorpio. What is the message for Scorpio spirit? Please show us. Scorpio. And what else? And what else? Scorpio. <laughs> I work hard for the mind. I work hard for the mind. Da -da -da. <laughs> All right, so you work hard for the money, Scorpio. You do what you got to do. Exactly. That's why you keep leveling up or things keep uh, opening up for you because you work for it. You do what you need to do. You do what you got to do, okay? But it do, it do look like you got a choice coming up here. And this choice is definitely about your abundance. 
This choice is going to lead you into more abundance. This choice is going to lead you to that success that's waiting on you. So, and this could be dealing with working with someone, collabing with someone. It looked like they want you to team up with someone. Or it's time to team up and take things to the next level. It's like, but you're going to start from scratch. You're going to start from the beginning and work your way up. This could be building a business together. Um, this could be uh, working on a business that you have already created and, and you collabing together. Maybe y'all in the same field. Or this could be a collaboration of uh, any sort, okay? But the, the, the message here is that's needed. Um, you may need to make up your mind, though, on when... Um, when you should do it, how you should do it, but how you should do it, they're telling me, which is in the cards, and they're saying you're going to have to work work hard for it. Oh, and then that song, work hard for the money, na 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 All right? So, of course, nothing is handed to you. And any Scorpio I know, nothing is ever handed to you. You just got to work hard for it. You work for what you, what you want, and that's what you're getting. And that's why you're receiving these blessings. And you're going to continue to receive these blessings by doing this. Now, I'm not speaking to the Scorpios that is up to no good, okay? You know who you are, Scorpio. You know where you at. So, but this situation is definitely involving someone who should be collabing um with someone to work towards this success it's like it's you maybe already reached su success but it's more that you can receive and it could be small as like collabing with someone who is inquiring about the work that you're doing or whatever like doing business with them okay just you know doing business not necessarily uh uh building a business together no collaboration can go many ways but 22 could be significant for you um 41 could be significant 39 43 someone could be age 30 someone could be age 33 someone could be age 43 or 34 or 39 or 41 um someone could be born in 93 rather you or a child here um the number five could be significant. Eleven and seven could be significant. Four. Huh. You got a lot of abundance here, Scorpio. Also, be careful of, like, someone may want to meet up with you. So, okay. So, use your discernment with this meetup or meeting with someone or collabing with someone. You sh use your discernment on who this is that you're going to be collabing with because it's a fraudulent and it's a real, okay? So, it's like a fraudulent could be just trying to mooch off of you or gain something from you, okay? Um, and then you have someone that actually wants to work with you. So, make sure you're looking into everything, especially any type of paperwork that's being being drawn up or something, Yeah, 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 okay, um, yeah, so for instance, if someone is like, hey, Scorpio, um, I got this, this awesome idea for a business, and it's real easy to get this money or whatever, don't fall for the easy route, okay, because that's what's going to hurt you in this, in this message, that's what I'm seeing, that's what's going to hurt you, because it's showing, if you don't work hard for whatever this is, like someone trying to get you to team up with them, if you don't actually work, it don't necessarily work hard, okay, not, <sighs> but work where you're doing every detail okay you start from here and without having shortcuts that's basically what they're saying no shortcuts you want to do it thoroughly so you could work hard but i mean hard for you may not be as hard for someone else but like it may not be hard in your eyes too like it could just be something where you just did everything the way it's well and you could have did it in a quick time in so it may not be hard for you but the fact of the matter is you didn't take any shortcuts and that's all they they're saying no shortcuts whatsoever do it right do it do it thoroughly okay all right we're gonna leave that there okay scorpio moving on to sagittarius sagittarius whoa 
Sagittarius. We get message for September 9th and September 10th, Sagittarius. All right, and what else for Sagittarius? Whoa. Okay. There could be some traveling involved, talks about traveling. Um, taking a trip, going, it's like, but you're on a time limit, like, or if it's not like a time, like maybe, okay, I could travel around this date and that date, but dang, I'm gonna have to get back on this date. Or this could be like, dang, I'm not gonna be able to travel until such and such date. Like you can't travel because the set, because the time here with this flying here, you could be receiving a message about, about someone traveling towards you. Show us more for uh, Sagittarius. All right, you have a choice to make due to this traveling. Yeah, it seemed like you're stuck, though. Maybe not enough cash, not enough time. You could be focused on time. It's like, damn, my money is afar. <laughs> like, maybe you feel like your money is farther or you have to travel to get to it, but it could be like a delay or something holding you back. Show us more. Yeah, we got the books. So some of you, this could be like, this could be a restraint due to a legal situation. This could be a restraint due to um, you not knowing how to maneuver around something. So you may need more knowledge on this, or more knowledge on something, like how to get around something. It's a blockage here, though, due to some traveling. Okay, this blockage could be you know, the timing off or the location um, or the fact that you, you can't go. So it's like you're left with making up your mind or making up your choice due to your current situation. So you just, it, this is just a lesson or something like a spirit is testing you. Like, okay, yeah, you can't. So how are you going to do it since you can't? All right. So say for instance, it's money afar. It's, it's some type of business endeavor that you could do um, at a distance, but you can't get there. So your lesson or your test is, okay, so how can you get it? How will you get it here? Okay, so focus on it on a now. Yeah. Because someone may feel like, dang, they don't have enough or something about a home, a financial loss here. It could be, a, yeah, a group, a group of people just, against you or not wanting you to succeed or move forward someone is trying to keep you stuck or or this is just a decision that you made in the past that that's keeping you stuck so either way take it however it resonate um but someone could be age 37 38 um 43 um 34 someone could be age 26 22 37 uh Someone's birthday could be on a 17. Someone could be born in 71. Uh, someone could be born in 83 or 73 or 81. Um, someone's birthday could be in March or March could be significant. Maybe due to this travel, this time change, this change due to this blockage here. Maybe March could be significant for someone. Uh... Someone's name could start with a Q first, middle, last, or nickname. Someone's name could start with a K. First, last, or first, middle, or last, or nickname. Ten could be significant. Yeah, there's definitely some changes happening due to some traveling, okay? All right, moving on to uh, Capricorn. Weekend message, Spirit. Please show us a message for Capricorn. Capricorn for September 9th and September 10th. Capricorn. Please show us a message for Capricorn. 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 Hmm. Mm hmm. Someone disguising them. So someone is trying to get one over on you, Capricorn. Someone could be like, I don't know, I'm really getting like sweet talk you, woo you, charm you, or whatever. But they're really fraudulent. Like something is off with this energy. Show us more. 
Yeah, this could be someone that you ended it with that's not accepting this ending, not wanting to accept this ending. Hmm. Yeah, this could be a lover, for sure. Hmm. I don't know, it just seemed like someone is not your true love. Like, someone is disguised, someone is, someone is false. This could be someone you're married to, were married to, plan on marrying. If you do, I would. Yeah. This person just going to cause delays in your journey, in your life, like slow things down. Like say, for instance, things are smooth, running smooth for you now. And then you come into connection with this person, feeling like you in love because of the charm or whatever. And then next thing you know, things just start going downward, spiraling down due to your finances or your health or just everything. Like something is off here. This is a false lover. Yeah. Someone could have um issues with the law or someone someone could work for the government. But someone's abundance is like in a corporate world. Someone could work in a corporate like someone is very abundant financially due to their job, due to their work. But there is someone in the mix, a lover or a past lover that is no good for you. It's like they're trying to cause delays for you. Because it looked like you do have a connection that you're supposed to come into connection with. Or maybe you have connected, but it was a disconnect. But it looked like someone is... Someone is wanting you to be scatterbrained. Someone is wanting you to be confused on how to maneuver. This could be a mother, baby mother, um, baby father, however. Yeah, and someone is very gifted intuitively. Listen to your intuition here. Because if this is this person that's trying to woo you to marry them or get with, you know, it just seem off. It don't seem, it seem like they have a, a hidden... They do. I'm not, not it seem. They have a hidden agenda here. Like something is off here. This could have been a past lover that's still trying to make their way, work their way in. You have a choice due to your journey. Like it's time to make up your mind with something. What is this about spirit? Due to where you want to go. So do you want to travel? Do you want to go afar? Do you want to stay? So whether this is, do you want to travel with this person or do you want to leave or do you want to go and do your own thing? For some of you, it's like, do you want to move out of state? Some of you, it's just, your decision right now is, do you, where you want to go? Okay, travel where? <laughs> this is what I'm getting. Um, yeah, and someone get, uh, confirming their flight or confirming, yeah, confirming a, a, a reservation here. So, yeah, you have a choice. Like, they're basically saying, like, someone is, is meant to just travel, okay? This could be a part of your journey, like, you know, maybe your uh your career life as well. But also, I'm just seeing, like, you have a choice to make, it, and this choice is at a distance. All they need you to do is make up your mind and confirm the reservation or something like that, or get this reservation confirmed. Oh, yeah, you're, you could have a lover at a distance. I mean, a distance don't necessarily mean you have to take flight. This could be getting in your car and driving. A distance is a distance. But, um, it do look like someone have a situation where a baby mother, baby father is not working well together. Like, y'all, is something going on here? I'm also getting like, I don't want you, but I don't want nobody else to have you. Like, that type of energy. Like, damn, you don't want me. Then let me be free. Like, let me deal with who I want to deal with. But it's like, someone is just like, I don't want you, but I don't want nobody else to have you. Take it however it resonate. Um, Someone's, okay. Uh, take it however it resonate, you guys.
But it looks like you do have a choice to make due to some traveling. This traveling could have a lot to do with your love life, okay? Whether your lover is at a distance or you and a lover are supposed to be traveling together. Let's move on to Aquarius. A weekend message. Aquarius. Aquarius. All right. Someone is ending something secretly. Or just... Hmm. It looks like someone's mother is guiding them. This is a deceased mother. Mm. This is not everyone's message, so please don't try to fit it. This is definitely quite a bit, though, for this to come out like this. But there is a deceased mother that's guiding you, trying to guide you. They're talking to you. They've been talking to you, guiding you. So these, the direction you've been going lately or choosing lately is because they're guiding you. Because it's, it's a snake around you. Okay. Yeah, it's a snake. Someone is a snake. Someone is not supposed to be in your energy or near you. Show us more. It could be someone's mother or baby mother. Yeah, they're trying to guide you away. They're trying to, they're helping you, trying to help you. Show us more. Yeah, I, t I told you, this is someone deceased. This is someone deceased. Thank you, spirit. Someone is helping you, okay? We got this coffin and this cross here. This is a deceased mother I'm getting, okay? And they're trying to guide you from a, far away from this snake because someone could be trying to harm you or end you or stop something that's meant for you. Yeah, your success. Look at that, the key. The key. You have the key to something. The key to something, they're trying to stop you from having this key, this success. Or this could be a key to a new home, a key to a new vehicle, a key to your, a new job, a key to a new office, a key, whatever. They're trying to stop this, stop you from receiving this. So that's why this mother is here trying to help guide you. Because they're like, no, stop doing it. You're not about to snake my baby. So, yeah, they're trying to help you out of this. Because it's like, it's a group of people. Okay. And you may be aware of who this person is or these people are. Yeah, little birdie already told it. Or they told on themselves. They're trying to cause a bridge, a blockage. They're trying to cause it, cause delays for you. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you do, you have someone in the mix of all this. You have someone that you can trust. But it looked like. Yeah. It's someone you can trust. They also could be working through this person to guide you. Okay. But I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, you have a choice to make. And this is family. That family tree is that's a family member on the other side that's trying to guide you towards the right direction, towards your abundance. Thank you, spirit. The clovers. Wow. The four leaf clovers. It's like they're trying to guide you to your abundance towards your success, but they need you to come out of the energy of the snake. All right. It's like, yeah, trying to suck you dry. Okay. Um, someone's birthday could be on the 15th, on the 2nd, on the 8th, on the 6th, on the 12th, on the 3rd. There's <sighs> a lot of numbers here. Um, someone could be age 33, age 42, age 27, age 38, uh, age 43, I think I said, 32, I think I said 36. Um, 9 could be significant, 6 could be significant, 8, um, 11, 9... So we have 99 here. Um, someone could be born in 78 or 87. 73 or 30, or someone could be age 37. Um, someone could have been seeing the synchronicities of 333. Like, yes, yeah, Spirit, look how they even gave it. 
Like the key to success is, is you. This is you going towards your success. It's some type, some form of movement from this snake. Okay. Someone's birthday could be in October. Someone's birthday could be October 8th, October 6th, October 7th, October 12th, October 18th. Or March, someone's birthday could be in March, March 7th, March 8th, March 12th, March 18th. Okay, but yeah, take it however it resonates for your situation. So it looked like you have the key to success, but you just must you must move away from the snake or these snakes. And that's what, what they're guiding you to do. And whoever this mother is, y'all mother is here. She's trying to guide you. She's letting you know, I'm helping you. So these decisions that you're making, you're being guided from that from your parent. So this could be a mother or a grandmother. Okay. Moving on to Pisces. Oh, these cards are starting to get a little raggedy. All right, Pisces. Pisces, please show us a weekend message for Pisces for September 9th and September 10th. Pisces, please show us a message for Pisces. Pisces. All right, let's see. Pisces spirit. What else? Uh oh. And what else? For Pisces. Okay. I'm hearing um, the song uh, from Five Heartbeats when the sister and the brother um, was singing. I believe in you. You believe in me. With the rainbow ahead. It's hard to see. But we gotta move on. No matter how hard it gets, we haven't finished yet. Our life ahead, we got so much to do. Okay. All right. So there's a message there within that song, but also I'm getting. Um, there's someone that is not, someone is a snake around you, okay? And this is causing delays due to you working towards something or, or gaining something. Um, there could be like a situation in the legal system, like some, fra some, some fraudulent activity or something like that. Um, it could be an ending, something is coming to an end with that. Um, yours the only message, yours the only one. I want to look in this because... Wow. Someone could be age 39 or age 36, 41. Um, someone's birthday could be on the 19th. Someone could work for the government or from for some type of institution. Um, mm -hmm. Hold on. Something is up here. And I landed right on it. Thank you, Spirit. I am the bringer of grief, sadness, burdens, and ordeals. Pain, suffering, and guilt is the area of my expertise. I claim weeping tears mm, and ask for prayers and supplications. When happy cards come at my right, then you shouldn't experience too much fright. So... It do seem like a snake, someone false could have accused you of something or yeah, some type of altercation in a corporate world. So this could be like maybe your work environment or something with a big known name. 
So this could be like a business or this could be uh, the courts, okay? Um, or someone reported you to the courts or something like that. Show us more on this cross. Hmm. And one more for the cross and the time. Show us more on this clock. For Pisces. Clock for Pisces. Alright, so it looks like it's time to do what's right. Hmm. So it could be a decision that you have. Maybe someone pissed you off and got you to the point of wanting to just tear some mess up. <laughs> but spirit is like, do what's right, okay? Make the right choice because you're given that opportunity. Some people, they don't get, a, get another chance. So it looks like you have another chance to get something right. Um, whether this is re relocating, releasing this energy that... You feel like, like, for instance, if this is like you're in a connection and you know it's not it's not healthy and, and you know it's not right, you must release it. Like, why continue to be in it if you know you're not happy, you're not, it's not healthy? Um, do what's right for you and that person. Um, if this is pertaining to a job, you know that this job is bringing you misery. Um, it's not healthy for you. You feel like... You're being, or or you may have came into a situation where someone lied on your name or something, and that you just you just felt like you've been treated unfairly. Do what's right by letting removing yourself from that situation. Um, for some of you, if you did something wrong, you are a snake. It's time to surrender. Okay, it's time to surrender and do what's right. Okay. Um, for some of you, you could be trying to like maneuver around, making like trying to make money quick. And they're saying no, you need to do what's right because someone is being led to work harder for what they're wanting. So someone have to work from the bottom to get to the top and not half, you know, half step it. So this is what they're saying. So if you're doing something for work and you're trying to go around it, go around the edges, they're saying no, this is what's going to lead you into some type of corruption in the legal system um, or an ending some type of ending to a business or something that you're doing. They're saying, stop that, okay? It's time to do what's right, all right? The time and the choice, okay? And it's like, whichever, whatever you choose to do, you know, outside of that, it will be the right choice. They just need you to make a decision due to some fraudulent activity, okay? Someone is making fraudulent activity or you're going to be receiving the books. Oh, dang. All right, so it could be the books due to the legal system, like you're getting the books time, all right? Um, there could be a message about this coming in, or this is um, someone that's doing this with you, okay? That someone needs to stop, or you need to remove yourself from these fraudulent people that is causing some upheavals in your company or your business or something like that, okay? But it's definitely a choice that needs to be making. It's like, now is the time, okay? All right. That is your message. That's what I'm getting for you, Pisces. Uh, mm -hmm. That's just what it is. All right. And I hope everyone enjoyed or received some clarity from their message. Make sure you look into all your signs, not just your sun sign. And I wish you all many blessings, those who are in deserving of those blessings. All right. Until next time.